friends and welcome to another Breakfast with Bacon. I'm Claire and I'm here with Dr. Bacon. So for the month of March, our goal here is to get you ready for allergy season. And so each week uh, during this month, we're gonna talk to you about different things that you can do to set your body up so that you're in a better position when the pollen starts flying, um, no matter what stage starts aggravating like your sinuses and stuff. So we want to make sure that you have some tools on hand to support your immune system and it, it's all about kind of laying the right foundation. So today we want to talk to you about two things that are essential, vitamin D and then also essential fatty acids to help you break down and absorb and utilize that vitamin D in your system. Yeah, for me, it's all about the allergies, right? So really for me, when I first moved to Atlanta, wow, like as soon as it hits April 1 for me, I'm done, I'm wrecked. Like sinuses are draining, eyes are itchy, runny nose. So these are symptoms that you may be dealing with. Well, for me, I didn't know a lot about nutrition and how to support it. I was getting adjusted on a regular basis, which always helped me with my sinuses and also helped me with my allergies. But now what we've learned is really how to take care of some of these root causes. My immune system was weaker. So what do we need for the immune system? It was calcium. However, in order for me to get the calcium in my stomach, into my bloodstream, we needed to add in a product, and what would that be? A vitamin D. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, what's really cool about vitamin D is vitamin D takes the calcium out of the stomach and gets it into the bloodstream, which is amazing. That's what vitamin D does. Now, what, vit what calcium does too is it helps with the immune system. So we use a product called Cataplex D. Cataplex D, and the reason why it's so important is Cataplex D has vitamin A in it, also has some calcium lactate in it, which is very easily absorbed calcium. This is awesome. It's bioavailable vitamin D, which gets into the body and helps actually the immune system, helps with skin problems, helps with all these different chemical reactions in the body that we need to work on, right? Another product too that we use is the cod liver oil. Mm -hmm. And why? Because those essential fats, you can't really utilize your vitamin D without vitamin A, vitamin E, and then good essential fats. Right, and the cod liver oil has it naturally occurring, perfectly balanced vitamin A and D together with the essential fatty acids, EPA and DHA. And what are those used for? To bring down the inflammation. Inflammatory, yeah. Yeah, response, right. which is exactly what some of those little particles floating in the air are causing to your sinus cavities, to your normal innate immune system. Mm -hmm. And that's why, for me, I want to move out of Atlanta in <laughs> April. So, and the other thing, too, that I want to talk about, too, is the Cataplex F, which is just essential fats. It's really cool. It's literally, Cataplex F, or these essential fats, take the calcium out of the bloodstream and put it into the tissue. Tissues. So then it's getting utilized by the thymus gland, the white blood cells to help, like you said, calcium is used for. The fuel for your army. Yeah, for, for the white system. blood cells, for the immune system, exactly right. And this is why I now, how are my uh, allergies now? <laughs> so much better. Yeah, really, they really have uh, improved quite a bit. I give the total credit to the vitamins that we're taking, of course, getting adjusted on a regular basis, and making sure that my diet's clean. So, mm -hmm. some takeaways for you today. Please, you can add in good nutritional support, which has great bioavailability of nutrients, but also drink more water, right? We were always drinking more water with lemon. We're talking about that. Also, make sure you're actually cleaning up your liver. Your liver processes a lot of those hormones, and it also helps your body. It's the detoxifier. It helps your body work through everything that's in the environment and also helps the immune system. So detoxifying the liver by adding in like beets or Brussels sprouts or cruciferous vegetables to help your body detoxify. And another thing that you were just talking about, what else can you avoid? Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to bring down the inflammation and kind of give yourself like a, a larger threshold of how much inflammation you can handle. Right. So if you're not eating as much sugar and if you're not drinking as much alcohol, then you can stand to have a little bit more inflammation coming in from, you know, what you can't help, what you can't control, the pollen in the air. Yeah, or things or other things, right? With what's in the air that's causing the, actually remember, the external stimuli or external problem in the environment. Now, Hopefully these things help you out and hopefully your allergy season is phenomenal and March and April is excellent. Or like me, you move out of the state. Either way, we were looking forward to helping you and we've got more uh, takeaways for you down the road as we go through these weeks. We'll see you guys on the next Breakfast with Bacon. Thanks for paying attention.